Good evening, Canaan Kids families. Hope each of you are doing well, staying safe, and staying healthy. The Children's Ministries continue to be moving forward with Children's Church at 9 a.m. and Children's Journey Groups at 10.30. Make plans now, though, to join us tomorrow night in the Children's Wing for Wednesday's Gone Wacky as we continue to be learning our, on our Bible drill. But also don't forget, our Wednesday's Gone Wacky theme for the month of February is wear as many red items as you can. Remember to wear as many red items as you can as you conclude our Wednesday's Gone Wacky theme for the month of February. But tonight, I want to share with you your journey group lesson from Sunday, February 23rd. So go ahead and grab your Bible and turn with me in the Old Testament to the book of Joshua. I believe my Bible is right. Here it is. Right here, Joshua. And be looking for the book of Joshua in the Old Testament. Be looking at Joshua chapter 5, verses 13 through 15, and Joshua chapter 6. Joshua chapter 5, um, 13 through 15, and Joshua chapter 6. It's called, we're talking about the, the seeding, the battle of Jericho. After Joshua led the Israelites into the promised land, the people observed the Passover. Joshua stood near Jericho, and he saw a man standing in front of him. The man had a sword in his hand. Joshua walked towards that man, and he asked, Are you on our side or the side of our enemies? The man said, Neither. I am the commander of the Lord's army, the man replied. Joshua bowed down and asked, what does the Lord want to say to me, his servant? The commander of the Lord's army said, Remove your sandals. Where you, are, where you are standing is holy. Jericho was a strong city with a big, big wall. No one was entering the city or leaving the city because they were scared of the Israelites. God told Joshua, March around the city one time for six days. And on the seventh day, March around the city seven times. The priests will blow their trumpets and the people will shout. Then the wall will collapse. So Joshua summoned, summons the people together. The soldiers lined up. Seven priests with seven trumpets stood behind the soldiers. And more priests followed them, carrying the Ark of the Covenant. Joshua told the people, though, not to say a word until he said, Shout! They marched around the city once. Returned to camp. The next day, they did the same thing. They marched around the city once and returned to camp. And on the third day, and the fourth day, and the fifth day, and the sixth day, they marched around the city and they camped. And they marched around the city once and returned to camp. And they did what uh, Joshua commanded to do, what the Lord's army, the commander of the Lord's army told them to do as well. So Joshua's following the instructions that were given to him. But finally, on the seventh day, at dawn, they begin to march once around the city, twice around the city. They marched around the city wall seven times, around the walls of Jericho. And after the seventh time, the priests blew the trumpets. And this time, Joshua yelled these words, Shout, God has given you the city. The people shouted. The trumpets blew, and the walls of Jericho come falling down. Joshua sent two spies to Rahab's house and rescued all the people in her home. From then on, Rahab lived with the Israelites. Israel obeyed God's instruction, and God had defeated the city of Jericho. So Joshua followed the plans that God laid out for him, and he also displayed the, or, uh, explained those plans to the people. And Joshua did that to the Israelites and explained the instructions that was given to him. And they followed those instructions about walking around the city wall one time for six days and the seven times on the seventh day, and then blow the trumpets and shout, and the Lord gave them the city. But it, you know, um, <clears throat> I want you to remember this from this lesson. When we truly trust God, we obey God completely. When we truly trust God, we obey God completely. When we trust God with all things in our life, we obey Him completely. When we trust God with little things, we want to do things on our own, it's not complete. We just got to give everything to God. The scriptures say that we need to give everything to Him and uh, let Him have control of our lives. And He gives us instructions to follow. They're simple instructions in that we can follow this right, just like Joshua and the Israelites did, following the instructions that were given to them. And we can do those same instructions. And we completely trust God with our whole heart. We completely uh, we obey God completely with all of our whole, our whole heart. I want to have a time of prayer 
this evening. So let's have a time of prayer. Dear Lord, we just come before you now, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our Canaan kids and families, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for keeping them safe. Thank you, Lord, for keeping them healthy. And thank you, Lord, for watching over them and protecting them, Lord. Lord, we just lift up those in our Canaan kids' families that have loved ones hurting or sick or um, just uh, uh, having a rough time, Lord, that you we just lift each and every one of those uh, individuals to you, Lord, knowing that you're the great comforter, Lord, you're the great physician, Lord, and you're there to uh, be with them, Lord. Continue to watch over our country, continue to watch over our church family, be with our pastor search teams, and continue to find the shepherd that you have uh, planned for us in our lives of our church, Lord. Continue to be with that process, Lord. Continue to be with those that are children in our school and those affected by the winter storms in Texas and Louisiana and all across the Midwest, Lord, just ask you to continue to be with those people um, that have no power or water, Lord, just help them to stay warm and um, hopefully just to watch over and protect them, Lord. Continue to be with us as we continue to be the hands and feet of you through our attitudes, our actions, our words, and things we say and do, Lord. Continue to watch over us, protect us, keep us safe. In your name we pray. Amen. Canaan kids and families, I just hope you have a great rest of your evening. Have a great rest of your week, and I hope to see you guys on Wednesday night for our Wednesdays Gone Whacking. Have a good night. See you later.